Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to achieve all of that I'm wearing right now. Today, I wanted to do something more wearable after all of those super dramatic looks that I've been uploading lately. Um, don't worry, the next video is going to be a very dramatic look as well. <laughs> but today, I did something more wearable, something more natural. This look is like medium intensity like it's not very dramatic i didn't do some kind of a very intense eye look but it's not like i still have some eyeshadows going on some contour my eyebrows are a little bit bolder you know it's not like no makeup makeup but it's also not like whew, full glam i hope you guys like how it turned out i absolutely love the um, the smoked out um, eyeliner uh, it makes me so happy to be honest with you but anyway i really hope you guys like the look and without losing any time let's go ahead and get started Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna start off with my face today and I'm gonna use the MAC Strobe Cream as a primer Just applying it all over my face with my fingers Okay, now moving on to the foundation, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Nude Cushion Foundation. I used that in one of my previous videos and I loved how it looked, but the shade that I used was a little bit too dark for me, so I, I got a new one and this is it. This is the one that I used in one of my previous videos and this is the one that I'm gonna use today. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is a lot darker than this. To be honest with you, I have no idea which is the shade that I'm, I'm using today. But I believe that it's it's number one. I think that this is the shade one. So hopefully it looks better. So I'm gonna dip inside the Sigma F80. Oh, that feels good. Okay. And I know that this foundation won't give me like a very full coverage. It's it's light to medium. But what I liked about it is that it made me really dewy and glowy and my skin was looking very healthy so that is the reason that i'm trying to make it work and you can definitely tell that this shade is a lot better for me than the one that i used before i really like that foundation you guys it just melts into my skin and gives me that healthy amount of coverage like it's not full coverage you can't expect it to cover all of your blemishes and stuff but it evens up the skin tone really beautifully and one thing that i kind of don't like about it is the packaging because i mean i don't think that it's a very good idea to constantly dip your brush inside the cushion and at some point it's going to be full of bacteria right and you don't want to bring that bacteria on your face I'm not really a big fan of the packaging, but the foundation itself, it's really good. Now I'm taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have that in the shade Vanilla. And I'm gonna use it to cover up some of um, my blemishes. Whatever that foundation didn't cover, I'm gonna use some concealer on top. Now moving on to my eyebrows, I'm gonna brush them in place with some brow gel. And I'm gonna fill them in with some brow powder by Sigma. I'm using an angled brush, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12. Okay, now I'm gonna start working on the eye makeup. I'm just gonna let that foundation and concealer set into my skin, dry out, and then after I'm done with the eye makeup, I'm gonna go back and finish with the face makeup. So I'm taking again that um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm gonna apply that all over my eyelid. And this is going to be my eyeshadow primer. I'm setting it in place with some face powder. This is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless by Maybelline. For eyeshadows today, I'm gonna use this palette here. This is by Colourpop and I Love Sarai collaboration. This is really good and really affordable, by the way. I wanna do something very wearable today, so I'm gonna start off with this color here. And with a big fluffy brush, I'm placing it in my crease. And 
and then with my finger i'm taking this shimmery color here this is the only shimmery shade um in the palette so i'm taking it on my finger and i'm placing it all over my eyelid wow this is really intense Switching back to that brush that I used to apply the crease color, I'll just run it through my crease to kind of diffuse the edges of that shimmery eyeshadow. I love soft eye looks like this one. I feel like you can wear them everywhere and they're also super duper easy to achieve. So now I'm gonna line my light. What? What? What, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Now I'm gonna line my eyes with this eyeliner here by Jouer, it's a matte brown one. I don't want to go with a black one because I feel like it's gonna add some darkness to the look. I want to keep the things a little bit more soft today. So I'm applying that Jouer eyeliner very closely to my lashes. And then I'm taking a smudging brush, this is a Sigma E20. And I'll smudge it so that it doesn't look that harsh. Then I'm taking again that Colourpop palette and I'm dipping the same small smudging brush in this very dark brown eyeshadow here. Placing it again very very closely to my lashes. You want to have most of the product there. And then when you make sure that there's almost nothing left on your brush, just start diffusing it upwards. I love that smoked eyeliner so much you guys and you could definitely use just that brown eyeshadow to create it but because I added that cream eyeliner under it I make sure that it's gonna last longer it's gonna stay nice and dark for the entire day just doing some extra steps in order to to make the eye look last for as long as possible and that Jouer eyeliner it's very long lasting you guys once you apply it it's gonna stay there until you decide to take it off like seriously it's really good and um, it gives you some time before it dries out so that you can smudge it and do whatever you want but when it's dry it's dry all right next i'm taking again that nars radiant creamy concealer and i'm gonna add it under my eyes to cover up the darkness i'm staying it in place with the rimmel stay matte powder in transparent Make sure that there are no creases before setting it. I'm gonna take some of that uh, Maybelline Fit Me powder again and I'm gonna dust it on my forehead here because um, I was a little bit more shiny than what I would like. On my cheeks and on my chin. I'm gonna add some contour to my face. I'm gonna mix these two colors here. And this is the Zuiva Cream Contour. Oh, this is really dirty. <laughs> anyway, this is the Zuiva Cream Contour Spectrum Palette. I'm using a very small, this is like a eyeshadow brush but I'm using it for a cream contour it's very small and I have um, a lot of control on it I haven't been contouring my face with creams in a really long time now and I just love how it came out most of the times I'm doing that with powder contouring shades but today I decided to switch a little bit and do something different and I love the result now for highlighter today I'm really excited for this part because this is going to be the first time that I'm gonna use the um, Girl Meets Pearl by Benefit and it looks really interesting. I guess the product is going to come out of this. I'm gonna focus for you guys to see. Okay, so you're ready? Let's do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow, this is super cool. Look at that. 
gonna use my fingers to do that. Lately I've been really getting into liquid highlighters. I feel like they give me more natural looking glow and I, I like that. Next I'm curling my lashes. And I'm coating them with some mascara. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker. I'm not gonna wear falsies today. So just mascara. Keeping the things more natural, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea who invented mascara, you guys, but honestly, who was the first one who thought of coming up with something that will be applied on their lashes in order to make them look longer so that they look more beautiful i think that we take it for granted but i just think that mascara is such a it's such a good thing i mean it's it's genius i love it <laughs> next i'm going back to that color pop palette <laughs> sometimes honestly my thoughts are so random um but anyway i'm going back to that color pop um, palette and i'm gonna take the lightest color from the palette it's this matte almost white shade and i'm adding that on my brow bone just to highlight it there On the Morphe M508 brush, I'm taking this color here and I'm smudging it under my lower lashes. For blush today, I'm going with the Ofra Bellini. Just going to dust some of it on my cheeks for some color. And for those of you who are very very pale like me, this is a great blush. It's just very nice soft color. This is one of my favorite blushes like ever. I'm adding some of that Jouer eyeliner um, in my waterline. I don't know if you guys can tell but I kept it just in the outer half of my lower waterline. <laughs> I have this e.l.f. active workout ready lip and cheek palette and this thing right here is super shimmery like I want to add it on the top of my cheekbones right here to add some glow Ooh, that's really pretty that looks really nice this is the brush that comes with the palette and I already tried some of the oh, <laughs> I already tried some of the colors but I think that this one here is going to be really suitable for the day's look. So I'm just gonna dip the brush in there. Top of it, I'm gonna add this one here to brighten it up a little bit because I feel like it's a little bit too dark. I really like the mixture of these two colors, and I think that oh no, this is a really cool palette. I don't know how long lasting are going to be these. I feel like if I go and eat something, they're gonna be gone. Maybe if you use it on top of some other liquid lipstick, or um, I think that with this, you should definitely use a lip liner. They're very hydrating, like they're not drying or anything, really smooth and creamy. But it's a cute, nice little palette. I like this one as a highlighter. It's it's really nice. Now I'm gonna spray my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. You guys know that I love this thing. And this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I just wanted to come up with something more wearable today. And this was kind of like a get ready with me. I'm gonna go to the grocery shop now, <laughs> get some food because food is good. I think that we all agree with that. Anyway, I really hope you guys like how today's look turned out. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to press the bell button next to the subscribe button because that way you're gonna be notified whenever I post a new video. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and visit my blog. All of the links will be down in the description box. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!